Morning peoples, today is part two of the paint video where I'm painting panels on my project car, Mr. Dose. For all you new people, there's a link to that video up above that will get you caught up. So everyone else, I just arrived here at Grocery Getter and I spent all day yesterday sanding the primer that I shot in the first video. Let's see how my primer job came out. I haven't even looked at this stuff yet. Literally this is the first time I'm seeing everything on camera. Bender looks good. This one I went really heavy on the primer. It looks good. Side blades. Yeah, everything looks really good. I'm actually really proud of myself. This stuff came out pretty decent for my first time ever using a paint gun. I know it's only primer, so it's only primer, but still, it came out pretty good. Now it's time for me to get to sanding. stuff pretty much all sanded out I just got here it's 10 a.m. I was up until almost 3 like 2 30 3 a.m. last night editing the dino day video that you just watched and I sanded all day but yesterday before I edited that video I can't even talk I'm so tired anyway time to go back to work Starbucks Hi. I'm so tired. <laughs> Today's task is to get all these pieces, all this stuff taken care of with the red scotch Bright pad, edge everything up, get everything cleaned on the edges of the panels and smoothed up, and then go over everything with the wax and grease remover. What I need to do is go over and retape anything needs to be taped and then clean everything with wax and grease remover and then blow it off in tack cloth and it's ready to shoot with paint. So with edging these panels one of the tricky parts I found was these mirrors because there's some really complex edges and little nooks and crannies on here that would be really easy to just forget and not do. You have to like go really slow and pay attention to what you're doing and make sure you get every last little crevices all over the place and get everything edged out. Especially like on these side blade panels, having them get like down inside here, and make sure that's all nice and clean. And then around the back side of the handle, so when you open the door, you don't see like crappy bodywork behind the door handle, but you also don't want to get it too thick inside there because then it will rub when you're opening the door. So it's really tricky. The most important step before I get everything cleaned up to spray is the booth has to be absolutely spotless. So what we're doing is Fred just turn on the fans and we're starting at the, the front of the booth where the air intakes are at and we're gonna blow all the stuff out of there and then sweep and then blow it out again and then do it again like one more time to make sure everything is like spotless in there. I have a 
confession, I was a bad YouTuber and I totally forgot to set up a camera while me and Fred were doing the wax and grease remover on all these panels in here. And they're all wiped down now. So I spared you guys the boring part of watching us wipe panels with wax and grease remover. I don't think you want to see that. It's pretty self-explanatory. Clean the stuff with wax and grease remover until it's no longer dirty. Getting inside here at the wax and grease remover was an absolute pain trying to clean all the little dust debris that was in there. So just used a little rubber spreader tool, just a little rubber squeegee, and wrapped it in the towel and then kind of like picked the edges till all the, the gunk was out of there. So everything is ready. Time to suit up. I am watching the sunset, not painting panels on the car right now. Because by the time I got everything cleaned up with a wax and grease remover, which took way longer than I thought it would, I had to go and get some mixing cups because we're out of mixing cups. And by the time I got back, it was already like 4.30 and it's starting to get dark. So Fred kind of suggested I should probably wait till the morning to shoot because of the fact that it is getting cold and it's gonna make it a lot longer for stuff to dry when I'm trying to do the sealer and then the base coat and then the clear coat. So this is going to be day three of getting the red on the car, but I'd rather do it right and take my time than try to rush. So now I'm just watching the sunset because it's amazing. So this is now day three of part two. I'm in line right now so I can get some tea because I woke up with a sore throat this morning. But it doesn't matter, I got work to put in. I just realized I was wearing the exact same thing in the last video when I shot the primer. <laughs> but I don't have that many crappy clothes that I can paint in. I'm seriously super nervous right now. I feel like I'm going to the doctor or something, I'm so nervous. <sighs> I hope this comes out well. So you can see a couple areas I got burn throughs. That's what the sealer is gonna be for. Uh, it doesn't really matter as much on fiberglass and plastic panels like this, but more so these metal pieces right here where I burnt through sanding. Uh, that's really where the sealer is gonna come to play to make sure that the paint adheres to this. Ideally, these should get shot with primer and reworked all over again but I already have 30 something hours into this and I can't let my OCD get the best of me as much as I would love to spend another 30 hours making this stuff super flawless. I have to also realize the rest of the car is not flawless. So if I wasn't making this stuff for you guys on YouTube and I had all the time in the world, realistically, I mean, I think two videos on this process is probably enough and I just, I gotta move forward. So I think this should come out well. Hopefully, it's my first time ever painting, so I'm a little nervous that this is gonna come out well. We'll see. You look like you just walked into like a room where they're shooting a porn. <laughs> no response from Fred. I decided not to use the audio that was shot with my GoPro here in the booth because it was so bad from the sound of the fans. So basically, I'm gonna give you a narration real quick. What I'm saying right here is Fred shot the rear wing as a demonstrative piece and then I shot everything else here in the booth and it all came out really well for the sealer coat with the exception of the front fender. I had a run under the body line, but Fred had a trick up his sleeve that we will use next to remove that run 
during the base coat process. So what Fred's doing here is he's mixing up a can of the original paint that was used when the car itself was painted like two years ago. That will be used for the first coat of base coat and then we bought a second can that was color matched off the headlight lid that will be sprayed as the second coat which would hopefully make this match perfectly. Blah blah blah, I'm happy. This is coming out good. my first round of base coat. It actually came out really well. I didn't have any runs this time around, although I feel this was a lot easier to shoot than the sealer coat. I did forget to shoot my mirrors, but it's okay. I got it on the second coat and made sure they got just as many coats as everything else. After I was done shooting the first layer of base coat, we then took 600 grit and went over all the panels, which kind of removes any little like dirt particles or any more little imperfections, as well as we're able to knock out the run I had in the front fender. Then everything gets hit up with a tack cloth and it's ready for the second round of base coat. lunch break. I'm gonna see how this paint looks real quick and then I'm gonna start shooting clear. I think it came out all right. There's no dirt or anything in the paint. There's a little dimple right there but that was actually in the bodywork. I just didn't sand it enough. So that's okay. It looks good. I don't have any runs yeah. yet. <laughs> Here's the fender. Fender came out good. You can see down here, this is where I had that run in the primer. And for the most part, it is gone. I mean, you can see a little tiny bit where it's still there. Little, little bit. And I'm okay with that. That's fine. Since I didn't think this was gonna come out perfect being my very first time shooting paint. These guys came out really good. That came out really nice. The engine cover came out really good. Here goes, I'm a little bit nervous of the clear because it's a little bit more difficult in shooting the base. shot the base and clear with. What kind of gun is it? It's a SATA, a SATA 5000 RB. It's the aviator, right? RP. Oh, RP? Yeah. It's really cool, these little airbrush designs that are built into it. 
I have like clear coat and red base coat all over my face, dry. I need to go home and scrub my face with chemicals. See what I do for YouTube? Here it goes, first look since I shot it. See how it looks. Here it is, here's the wing. After I shot it, it had a couple fish eyes in the clear, but the, they pretty much leveled out. There's a little piece of dirt right there. So I know you won't hear Fred because it's loud in here, but he was saying with having two of us in here with him walking around instructing and the fact that I had a camera in here and stuff, it's bound to get a little bit dirty. Plus it's not like we're being super, super, super careful. They look pretty much amazing except for this mirror. This was the one panel I had a run on in my clear and it was on the bottom. I have a slight run down there, which I'll be able to sand out, hopefully, and you won't be able to see anyway, so. I'm not too worried about it for my first time painting, only having one run. The fender turned out really good. There's not a lot of, I don't really see a lot of trash in it. There's, there's one on the top there, and there's a couple right here. Yeah. Besides that, there's, there's like a couple little specks that'll be able to wet sand out easily. I mean, you guys can see right here if you follow the light. Like, you'll easily be able to see following that light. This right here is where I had my run in my sealer. As you can see, it is gone. Whatever was there, uh, you can't you can't see it all actually. Especially when I wet sand, it'll be good. There's one little dirt nib right there. These two side panels were the only ones that. They have a couple little fish eyes here and there. If you're like wet sanding and wet sanding and wet sanding and they don't want to come out, you can just knock it with like some paint under it and you can just throw another coat of glue over top of it too. Gas door, there's only one little fish eye right there. It's very minor. A bit of wet sand that out. Really the only thing that got contamination on it was these side panels. Everything else came out good. The engine cover. There's no dirt in it, there's no runs. Soon you will have your panels. I promise you this is the last day in this video. No more days. So I'm, I'm picking up the panels. They cured overnight and um, I had to dress up a little bit. I felt like crap the past five days doing this body work. Like it's, it's no joke. It's hard work. You have to put in work if you want results with body work. So I had to dress up today because I needed to feel like myself again. <laughs> and I have a cold, so it makes it even worse. Well, it's time to go get these panels though. All done. It's all nice and hard. Sweet. I like it. For everybody that said that it would not match shooting the panels and not the entire car, I gotta show you something. The gas door was just shot. This is from the car, so this is like two year old paint. That's like. God, the flop looks nice too. That's like a flawless match. <laughs> looks good. Yay, good job matching it, Fred. Thanks. So that's it. Denskis. First time painting panels on a car. I don't wanna say it first time painting a car, I didn't paint the whole car. First time painting in a paint booth on a car part. <laughs> so I gotta load all these up in Forrester Gump, take them home, and um, I guess that's the end of this video. So I'll see you guys soon when I put all these parts on the car and polish it up. Bye.